You're Dr. Reed. Something, do I know you? I just know what you do. Okay. Well, look, I saw you at Georgetown a few weeks ago. You gave a lecture on sexual sadism and how you helped catch the Mill Creek killer in St. Louis. I'm not much of a, uh, a public speaker. I don't know, I thought you seemed cool. You look kind of young to go to Georgetown. Um, I'm a junior at Northwest High School. And you just go to lectures on anger excitation for fun? I don't have a lot of friends. So you're interested in profiling? Yeah, I mean, I read a lot, you know, true crime, like graphic novels mostly. They're all about whether there's really such a thing as evil and like nature versus nurture, all that. So I figured it'd be smart to hear it from an expert. Yeah. So you said a lot of them kill prostitutes? That's the number one serial killer target, actually. Well, is that for sex or because they think they're dirty and they need to be punished? Are you waiting here for me? What would it mean if somebody were stabbing them and cutting off their hair? I, I've never, uh, never heard of a case like that. Do you want to go to the, the BAU with me and maybe talk to some of my other team members? I, I actually have to go to school. Give me your, your name and your number and I'll call you and... Hey, Spence. JJ, who's your contact at the DC police? Uh, Victor Barnes. Why, you need me to call him? Hi, Detective Barnes, please. What's wrong? I need to get that to everyone as soon as possible. Uh, hi, Detective Barnes. This is Special Agent Dr. Spencer Reed of the Behavioral Analysis Unit at Quantico. Have you had any recent murders involving prostitutes? Uh, maybe just Jane Doe's? They would have been stabbed to death and their hair would have been cut off by the killer. When was the most recent victim? I'll explain when I see you. I'll, I'll meet you in a half hour. What's going on? DC may have a serial killer and I think I just let him get away. Says he's been here four hours. You had a lot of people worried. Sorry. Told that policeman that you've been here four hours? I snuck out and I started walking like I couldn't control it. So I figured I'd come here and try and fight it. Has anybody seen you here? It doesn't matter anyway. It does matter, Nathan. A woman was stabbed tonight and nobody saw you. I'm gonna have to bring you in as a suspect. You gonna cuff me? You wanna know what I've been doing all night? Mm. Just been sitting here thinking. The only way for me to save people's lives in the future is to kill myself. So Nathan's in custody? They're holding him downtown. You really think he killed that last woman? It's possible. But and Nathan's evolving. This last kill, it feels like a devolution. Sloppy and angry, Nathan's smart and directed. He's used to achieving. If he decides to kill, it'll be clinical and efficient. So where does that leave us? Back to the profile. First victim, he gets a taste for killing. Second, he asks the police to help stop him. By the third, he feels like they failed him. He's already devolving. Fourth, no ritual, no message. Just a brutal murder. It's true that he's devolving, but this last victim definitely had a message. Mm -hmm. 